So on September 16th, 2021, I had this insane urge to drive to the dog pound, which was 30 miles away, and to see what they have. And I saw this beautiful Rottweiler with the sad eyes. His name was Steel. They renamed him Whopper, but uh, I decided to keep the name Steel. He uh, was really, really pretty. He looked like he was abused. He had big chunks missing out of both ears. Uh, one ear front and back, the other ear just in the back. And uh, I took him in the yard. He was very skittish at first and uh, he was kind of afraid to come to me. So he didn't seem to be uh, too good with males. So a male might have abused him, I don't know. So I decided to take him home, even though I had a German Shepherd already. Here he is at a car. We arrived home. And first I put him into a crate to see how my other dog reacts to him. And here, here she is uh, circling around him. He seems to be uh, pretty good. I didn't know how he would react with her. I was always afraid uh, if you have two strange dogs getting together you might wind up with a dog fight or a lot of uh, signs of aggression uh, she is uh, curious about him she's sniffing him she was the only dog in the house she basically is an alpha dog and uh, she got all the attention before never had to share any attention but also didn't really have anybody to play with uh, except for him now so uh, I do play with her, but uh, dogs, when they play together, they play together in a whole different way than uh, most humans play with them. So uh, It's always scary when you bring in two powerful dogs together and you don't know how they're going to interact. They seemed okay, so I finally took them out of the crate. And here I have them together on the front porch basically and uh, she's sniffing him, good he's girl. very nice, good he girl. doesn't seem to be making Seen any kind of aggressive girl. moves on her even though he is uh, also her size, uh, a little bit smaller, she's about 100 pounds his weight uh, at the pound they had listed at 89 pounds but there you can see his ribs and uh, when I took him and got him weighed, uh, basically his weight was 80 pounds. So he might have been 89 pounds when he first arrived at the pound, but uh, apparently he had lost some weight and uh, apparently had been having some problems with diarrhea at the pound. See, now lay down. Uh, either to the intolerance of the food. Lay down. Or uh, just anxiety. But uh, here they seem to be getting along pretty good. I'm very hopeful that uh, she does not become too aggressive toward him. And uh, she usually is aggressive with other dogs when I walk her. But uh, that's why I didn't want to get a puppy because I was afraid that she might be too aggressive toward a puppy and a puppy won't be able to defend himself in case she becomes hostile. Uh, but at least uh, another dog that is her size could uh, fend for itself uh, and defend herself, defend itself against her. But uh, they, they were sniffing each other and uh, they seemed to be kind of getting acclimated to one another. So I'm hopeful they will get along. Please uh, like and subscribe and uh, watch uh, for more videos on how to get along. Please comment below and let me think. Uh, let me know what you think will happen if they will get along, and uh, what you think of this dog. He uh, is a year old or barely a year old, and uh, I can't believe that uh, he was uh, that abused, where he has these big chunks missing out of his ears, and he was extremely shy and skittish but uh, hopefully with a lot of TLC he should come around and do very very well so give me your opinion below uh, predict what you think will happen 
and please like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much.